Oh man, there's one thing that you can always count on with physical silver, and that is it's always on the move. Even if that move is just a few steps in either direction. But the banking situation did have an effect on the silver in my town, which I saw firsthand today when I visited my coin, local coin store to buy some constitutional silver. And I'll show you guys what I mean and we'll talk to the owner about it. But before we head out to my local coin store, I'm going to show you guys my latest pickups. Now, I picked up 30 ounces. I bought 30 ounces from a good friend of mine. Lives in upstate New York. His name is Mike Yox. He builds my custom displays for my silver. You guys have seen them. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to contact him about maybe building you a custom display. But uh, this is what I picked up. This is 30 more ounces. I got 25 of these buffalo rounds. These are generic buffalo rounds, but these are the ones that are in cuse. They have the little lines on radio lines on there kind of a security feature and this five ounce bar here very nice five ounce bar anyway i picked that up it's going to be added to my stock i'm going to give you guys an update on my progress here pretty soon show you guys what i picked up towards my goal of 250 ounces of generic silver and 200 dollars face in constitutional silver which is why i'm heading down to my local coin store you guys can come down there with me we said we can't pick up some constitutional silver. So anyway, let's go. Hop in the car, watch it go wrong. Wrong. I told a mom that I was soon. Soon. No is a child back in the room. Oh. Told us to back, I need my wrong. Wrong. Hop in the car, watch it go wrong. All right, so I'm back here with uh with uh Larry over here doing what Larry does and Clay. Um, and we just had a guy come in and just, he what, pretty much wiped you out of constitutional silver, right? And everything it's else is about. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been hard to keep constitutional silver in stock. People have been buying a lot. Yeah. So even with the, with the jump in metals, I mean, even with the jump in spot price, it's still people didn't stop. It didn't deter anyone at all. I mean, no, they just, they agree. just didn't even, didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Yeah, demand is uh, definitely outstripping supply right now. Yeah, I see that. In our world. So and what what do you think? What do you think that is, um, Clay? I, I think it's the uh, just the jitters in the traditional banking sector. I think it's been a long yeah. time since uh, any of us had to worry about those type of things, and I think it's just making people think twice about what's money and what isn't. Yeah. But you know, like I tell my customers, Don, if you really start feeling stressed about that this stuff, I mean. Just, you know, hold a crew grain in your hand or something. Absolutely. It makes you feel much better. Makes you feel much better. Absolutely. That's a good point. I like that. I've actually held, I think you let me hold, like, what was it, 20 crew grains that time? A guy <laughs> came in with a tube. And, man, <laughs> that's a lot of money to have in your hands. Um, but it, it, I'm telling you, I hold my silver in my hands like that. I look at my silver when I open my safe, when I think about, you know, my financial health and my financial future, and I tell you what, I sleep like a baby. Yeah, when you hold a roll of those, it's so much more apparent how heavy yes. gold really is, you know, <laughs> yeah. and platinum even more so. And it feels yeah. like money. It feels mm -hmm. substantial. feels significant. You know, it feels like this is something important. Yeah. You know, it's just awesome. Well, I was here to buy constitutional silver. Um, Sorry, we can't fill that order. <laughs> can't fill that order today. <laughs> uh, but I will look at that generic van, if you don't mind. Sure. Maybe we'll grab something, huh? Need to come in and uh, you know, with some money to spend for silver and uh, not spend it for that. But um, you know, you guys have silver, which I love. So uh, <laughs> you got my attention. But I would, I would come in here even if you didn't have silver. <laughs> listen no, to the I, listen no, to the no. silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm biased because uh, I, I work here, but uh, you know, Clay's great to work with and work for. And yeah, it's it, it's a great business. It is, and I tell you what, I I envy your job. Man, I would love to do this. Really, just come to work and just look at silver and coins all day. 
and see what comes in. Oh man, that that would be my dream job. It would be my dream job. I've got my eighth anniversary coming up. Yeah. Well, all right. So, uh, but you've been doing this longer than eight years, I'm sure. Oh yeah, Larry was. Yeah, I've been a collector all, okay. my, all my life, but I've, I've been working here for for eight years. Wow. That, that's incredible. And I, I was a customer at, um, at this store for 18 years. And I bet you enjoy every minute of it. I did. I did. Yeah. I know. I, 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 that's awesome, like I said. I mean, I'd love to do this as a job. You know, just to, just, yeah. Well, you know, one day maybe. I bought, yeah. I bought two 10-ounce bars of silver last, uh, last week. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with it. You, you got to. You got to, because you're not you're not spending money. Like I say all the time, you're not spending it. You're just taking it from one iffy thing, which I call just a promise. You're taking it out of that promise, and you're fulfilling that promise yourself, because that's what cash used to be. It used to be a promise. You well, can get silver for it, take it in, get your silver it's, for it. It's worse than a promise now. It's a promise from a bunch that is so far in the hole yeah. that they can never climb back out. Right. You don't want to take a lot of IOUs from, from those type of individuals. No, 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 I wouldn't. be upside down. Yeah, I wouldn't. I can't help <laughs> thinking of U.S. dollars as just the debt instruments that they are. Yeah. You know, when we trade dollars between each other, we're trading somebody else's debt. It's our own country's debt, but it's still debt. All right, so this is what I'm going to going to pick up today. I'm going to get 10 of these to go towards my uh, my budget. I uh, wanted constitutional silver, but like we just discussed, constitutional silver is a little hard to come by today. Clay, you usually have a pretty good supply of that, and the fact that you don't means that um, yeah, there's, a lot of there's a lot of demand for it. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I'm getting. I'm getting 10 ounces of uh, silver today, and uh, we'll be back when you uh, get some constitutional silver. Sounds good to us. I appreciate your time. Larry? Over there doing his job. Which, Joker. Joker, that's true. <laughs> and Clay, thanks for uh, all the good information, Clay. Appreciate that. And uh, then we're going to take this home, count it up, and add it to the stack. Sounds good. Thanks, fellas. Yep, thanks, Don. All right, so there you have it. Uh, no constitutional silver today. Now, that is extremely rare for Clay's shop, for Main Street coin. I mean, you can count on them for having constitutional silver. Now, the amount of junk silver that they've been having has been dwindling down, but they've always had some. Today, he was out. But I'm finding that constitutional silver is getting harder and harder to come by, at least in my town. And I believe that is because people are starting to really appreciate the value of junk silver. It's 90% silver, and it's, it's money. And so I think it's only going to become more and more popular, and the more popular it becomes, the less available it's going to become. At least that's my opinion. All right, so um, I picked up these 10 rounds here, 10 generic buffalo rounds is what we call them. I went down there to buy constitutional silver. Like I said, you know, if I have money to spend for silver, I want to spend it for that. <laughs> so I'll give him a call. He said he'll give me a call when he gets some constitutional silver in, and we'll go down and we'll get some. Of course, I'll take you guys with me. But I believe that silver has been getting harder and harder to access, not that it's getting scarce or we're running out, but just more and more people are buying it and less people are selling it. You know, the turnaround isn't there like it was before. So I would say that, yeah, this banking situation may have put a little bit of nervousness in people and they bought maybe a little more, but I think this has been building long before this. And I believe people are really starting to recognize the value of having physical metals in their possession. The convenience of it, the safety of it, the security of it, and it's just the idea of having access to something that's outside of these fiat dollars. You know, if you see dark clouds building in the, in the distance, then you know that maybe you need to find some cover or at least put up an umbrella. <laughs> Rain could come. Now, it may miss you, but we all know that when you see those dark clouds, it usually means rain. So just read the writing on the wall. And if you feel comfortable with what you're doing, then continue to do it. If you think you need to change up some things, then do that. But I tell you, I sleep like a baby because I know I have physical metals in my possession that I can use to get the things I need. There's no question about that. And I am no different than any of you. I don't own a gold mine. I'm not rich. I don't own a company. I just decided long ago to take control of my financial health 
And silver, physical silver is one of the tools I use to do it. And I feel very secure with the actions that I've taken towards that end, with the goals I've set and the amount that I've put into physical silver and other things that I'm gonna need. Anyway, that's all I wanna say today. This video's gone on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. More good content coming up. Look for my silver shorts. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep this silver train rolling. Appreciate you guys. Show me the love and support that you have been over this time that I've been stacking. And, you know, we've been rolling on the silver train. Let's just continue to do that. Keep stacking. Peace.